was terrible story that happened yesterday actually it was a conclusion of a terrible story I had a third grade teacher his name was uh, Mr. Nachenberg uh, he had a wife who was blown up in the terrorist attack in Sabaros in 2001 um, she uh, was in a coma for the rest of her life she died yesterday um, after 22 years of being in a coma um, what's amazing about this story is that the woman who plotted uh, this terrorist attack <clears throat> was sentenced to 16 life 16 life sentences in Israel, but was freed when she was participated in a prisoner exchange with Hamas for Gilad Shalit. Um, but nowadays she's no longer with Hamas. She's in Jordan, um, and she's living a great life. She has, I believe, she's a talk show host. Jordan has refused to extradite her. Even the United States has a bounty on her. It's completely unjust that such a woman gets freedom after doing such a thing. A 14-year-old boy from Florida uh, won the spelling bee yesterday um, with some word, I think it was sand lover. It's translated sand lover. I don't even know how to pronounce the word. Salmiophile or something like that. Um, they have to do extremely difficult words to win the spelling bee. It's a very competitive thing. You get $50,000 if you win. Um, this person apparently, he participated for numerous years and he fell short. Finally, he won. Uh, he was jubilant after winning. Uh, I will say this about spelling bee. It's pretty cool to win a spelling bee. Um, you know, it's a big competition to remember, have an amazing memory. Um, these kids have uh, unbelievable memories to know words that no one even heard of. You know, there's so many words in the, in the, in the English dictionary. Um, but nowadays with spell check and with the internet, you know, you don't have to know spelling anymore. It used to be a commodity to know good spelling. Nowadays, it's irrelevant. Denver Nuggets won the first game of the finals last night behind a triple-double of Nikola Jokic, who a lot of people are claiming is the best player in the world right now. They like to put this moniker on players, the best player in the world. LeBron James was the best, then it was Giannis Antetokounmpo, now it's Nikola Jokic. If, in my opinion, the best player in the world is the best player in a one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to find out the best basketball player, match him up one-on-one. -on -one. The best player in five-on-five -five is not the best player in the world. Nikola Jokic... I don't even know if he's the best player in 5-on-5. Five five. He's a very good player in 5-on-5, five five, but no center will ever be the best player in the world. If you put a center against any guard in a 1-on-1, they're going to lose very quickly. I believe the best player in the world, number, probably number one, is Kyrie Irving individually. Number two is, is Luka Doncic. Um, Nikola Jokic is great in 5-on-5. Five five. He's a great fundamental piece um, to winning a championship in the NBA, which is 5-on-5. Five but the best player in the world is the best player one-on-one, -on -one, and Michael Jordan would beat anybody. I saw a video where Kevin O'Leary stated that every high net worth individual will put their money not in uh, the euro, not in the British pound. They always put their money in the U.S. dollar. Everyone wants U.S. dollars. Every country wants U.S. dollars. High net worth individuals want their, their money to be in U.S. dollars. The reason is, he didn't explain the reason, but I'll tell you the reason is because even though not right now there's a lot of inflation in America um, and they can just print money as much as they want and they have 32 trillion dollars in debt they just raised the debt ceiling um, America has the strongest working class people work because of the American dream the possibility of the American dream because there's so much freedom in America as opposed to the rest of the world it's such a great democracy and capitalism reigns that's why the GDP in America per capita will always be very high and makes the economy in America the best. It was a very sad story I saw. Um, it revolved around uh, someone who went to uh, an Anaheim Angels baseball game last year. He what, was sitting in the bleachers and after the third out was made, Juan Lagares, a, a player on the Angels, threw the ball into the stands, which happens very often. And it hit someone in the eye. He didn't expect it coming and it blinded his left eye. He's suing either the Angels or Major League Baseball for the damages of getting blinded by the baseball, even though the tickets say that you're responsible for your welfare once you enter the stadium for any bats or balls that are flying around. He says this was thrown with a lot of velocity, his lawyer says, and it was unexpected. I mean, that's very common if you watch baseball games. The, the outfielder will throw the ball after the third out into the, into the stands. Um, it did mention that this person is suffering from brain cancer, and he suddenly lost someone in his life. I think they're just trying to make it emotional, but he has no lawsuit.